Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nico Para. In the last episode, we were testing chocolate and vanilla on their studying on the permit test and they failed our test. So, apparently now they are back from somewhere. Uh, back from where? Oh, welcome home, you two. Wait, they left without me? I thought they can't go outside without me. Any problems with delivery or payment? It was? Awesome! Nice! That's always the best. Huh? <gasps> what? Really? They passed? They got their bows? Oh man! Woohoo! Yay! As a master, I did great! I taught them well. Well, they studied independently, but I, I had to study the uh, cheat sheets. I'm not sure if that was legit or not, but at least they passed. Hooray! Aww, you're right. The brand new bows around chocolate and vanilla's necks glittered brightly. Hmm, is there a difference between the gold and silver? Gold better? I mean, gold is better, but like... Is there like a significant difference? Chocolate had a silver-colored bow, and Vanilla a gold-colored one. With proof that they had become independent cat girls, they both had blossoming smiles full of pride on their faces. Aww, so happy for them. I actually have a, have a, I actually have a huge smile on my face right now. Well, they were really close to failing though. Oh, oh no. Really close. Well, that is true. Except in collage, you know. In collage, you know, you gotta... You can't just be like, oh man, I passed by hair. And you get like a 60 out of 60%. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's not about the... It's not about passing that. It's about, you know, getting the higher score so it accumulates and, you know, adds up into your overall score later on. But anyways, besides that, talking about the bells here. Five percent? Oh my goodness, you guys were in the top five percentile? <gasps> the youngest? Oh man, that means Shigure really taught them very well early in the years or months. Years? Months? Alright, alright. You two are La Salil's star, poster cat girls. I answered, rubbing their heads as always. Actually, this was the first time we had received a delivery order from a customer. Really? Was it Shigure? With my cell phone, I was able to check up on them to make sure everything was alright every few minutes through the GPS in their bells. So where's the GPS located in the bells? Is it like hollow inside or is it like actually like a solid bell? I really did want to follow behind them, but I restrained myself. Yeah, it's a little weird. You'd be like tiptoeing behind. Oh? That'd be like vanilla. Vanilla status, just like peeking around corners, we're like, ooh. It was their first errand, so naturally as their owner, I was fraught with worry and couldn't sit still. Yeah, I would too. It'd be like, it'd be like when you're a parent and then, you know, your kid goes off to preschool the first time. It's like, oh, I can't need to be with them all the time. And then you realize that, you know, they're in good hands, hopefully. That's what you, you know, believe. 
Hopefully there will be. <laughs> All right. How did that go? Did you pass out business cards? Yay! They did. Kind of thing. You'll get half a cream puff. What, what, what the? That, uh. Oh. Clothes? What kind of clothes? I think Vanilla is secretly perverted herself. Huh. I wasn't going to acknowledge you, but since when did I have such interests? Oh, you learned some humor, haven't you? I didn't think having a bell was a qualification to become an entertainer. Hmm. Maybe it's what they learned. Perhaps this was some of the additional vocabulary they had learned when studying for the exam. I would think so. It didn't seem like they were any different from before though. Really? Okay, I'll think of something special. Don't get your hopes up though, okay? Aww. I love you both too. Oh. Taking a bath with me is completely out of the question though. But saying that is a bit of a pain, so I won't mention anything. Shh. Ah. You two are. Oh, you don't do that. Ouch, ouch, stop, that hurts. Are they like slapping my back? They are. That's why you had to study for them. Don't say things too deliberately. Oh, too deliberately confused, Chocola. <laughs> oh no, that's that's no good. I told you not to do that, you trickster. Just right? Huh? How do you know? Uh, you're right, just a little bit. Aren't you clever? Well, I suppose I agree with her though. She looks beyond cute when she's all sulky like this. Oh, that's adorable. Ah, looks like we're running low on supplies. I'm going to have to go out and buy a couple things on my break. A dato? Wow, that, you're right, that was fast. Well, there isn't a lot of time, so we need to get going. Wait, you yeah, change? Is it already closing time? Today was just another normal day at La Salio. Oh man, she isn't. Where have they been? We haven't seen them in so long. Yeah. Wait. You know, that's before we opened. We saw them. But I guess you're right. Maybe it's their day off today, or maybe they're only open when there's a lot of people around. 
I don't see anybody. Is anybody here at all? Oh, she was cute. A little, little cute cat girl. I thought you always have those with you. Well, we'll see them again someday. Hope so. So adorable. Or she is. Little, little cute cat girl. You never know, we'll probably see them sometime in the future. Hmm, is that premonition? Kasho, are we gonna see them in the future? Hmm. Our battle? We crossed the park path that we had grown used to walking. There was a gentle breeze blowing in from the coast. Oh. So is that the amusement park all the way in the back where that big, big old ferris wheel is? I don't know. I mean, the reason the ferris wheel is there, right? Or it's just the ferris wheel. Wait, I thought, I thought it was the same town where your family lives. The faintly salty breeze blew into their squinted eyes. But they're not squinting. I turned around and saw a bench and enter my line of vision. Well, there's still time, so why don't we take a break? Alright, break time! Oh, okay. With courageous heroism. Thank you very much, Miss Vanilla. Zoom! I gave the graceful poster cat girl money. With light steps, Vanilla walked towards the vending machine. I like how there's like... If you guys can see, there's a bunch of uh, benches in a row in the back. And then after that is like nothing except this one bench to the left of chocolate. <laughs> Oh, we did, and then we had that flashback talk about how you all wanted to stay with me because of of uh, me taking care of you, and then there were sad times. That's right, just like this, huh? She was talking about the day after I moved. It seemed like it was quite a while ago now. I wonder how things would have turned out if I had ended up on my own. It probably wouldn't have gone well at all. But we can't think of the past. We need to move forward and think about the present and the future. Yeah, Chocola agrees with me. Chocola finally looked at me. That's true. No reason to talk about ifs and buts. Oh, we can always talk about butts. Hmm, really? It's not? Hmm, what do you mean? Not understanding what she meant, I asked again. She closed her eyes a bit, and I could see a faintly mischievous smile creep across her face. Ooh, spooky! I don't know why I did that. Aww, really? Oh, okay, I, I got it. Uh, Chocola? Unexpectedly, my heart began to beat loudly. Oh? Why is that? My face felt flushed. I couldn't bear looking at such a genuine smile any longer. As I averted my gaze away, the color of her silver bell caught my eye. Hmm, I always thought of her like a daughter, but she's growing up with each passing day. Oh yeah, the cat girls, they grow up pretty fast. Right? 
Once again, I realized something that obvious. I took a deep breath, cooling my flushed face. Ah, please always be by my side from here on out. I'm so happy when you're with me. I answered her honestly. I rubbed Chocola's head more gently than usual. Oh? Aww. Aww, she, her face is, you know, flush. She's blushing. Hmm? What's wrong, Chocola? Uh, okay. You say it's nothing, but... Uh, a sweet smell? A sweet smell? Hmm? What does she mean by that? I tried to smell what she was talking about. Hmm, <laughs> is my armpit? No. no. There's nothing sweet about that. She smells like cake. Of course, I didn't smell anything sweet. Hmm, become light. Hmm? Wait, are you saying you're drunk? Did you take some catnip when I wasn't li watching? She let out a long, feverish sigh. As she sighed, she gazed downwards with her face flushed red. She glanced up at me, her eyes gleaming. Oh, yay! But I'm already happy, Chocola. She squeezed her hands tightly in front of her chest. Ah yes, that's definitely squeezing, right there. As she said that to me with a sorrowful voice and forlorn look on her face. Things somehow feel a bit different than before. Huh. I knew that she was happy, but it seemed like she was holding something back at the same time. She wasn't like her usual feverish and energetic self. It was almost as if... If what? If what? We'll find out in the next episode of Nico Para. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!